another video. Today I'm going to show you how to wash the Maxi Cozy. I believe it's pronounced Zelia. Zelia. I think it's Zelia. It's Z E I L A. Zelia. <laughs> Anyways, this is the brand. You can see it here. If it looks like yours, then that's it. If it's spelled Z E I L A and it's a Maxi Cozy brand, this is the one. <laughs> This isn't a straightforward cream to fold, it's, uh, to wash. It is a little harder than usual because it is the bassinet seat in one. The seat fabric will not come off. So what I'm gonna actually do is put that in the bathtub and scrub it, and that will come up really nicely. The hood, I think, will be the same as well because it looks like it's all pot riveted on. So I'm thinking that it may not come off so that I have to go in the bath and be scrubbed but just because it's in the bath scrubbed doesn't mean it's any different. We used to hand wash our clothes back in the day so I'm sure it will come up just fine. Let's get started with the hood. So on the back of the hood there are some snaps so we're going to want to undo these snaps. So we have um, one, oh my gosh it doesn't want to come off. One. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna maybe take the hood off and then push pull down on it. Oh, two. So I unclipped the hood um, clamp from the frame because it was just really not coming off. Then we're gonna wanna untuck the lever in the back here so that it doesn't snap or break when we're trying to get the hood off. Maybe if we open it, we'll be able to slide off easier. Yep. Then we still have two more snaps to go. One, two. Okay, and then we have the other hood rod to come off. So they just clip off really easy. So that's the hood. Now it has um, three, yeah, three sets of ribbing in it, and one is got the hood rods on it and they are pop riveted in so without you know pop riveting them and unscrewing them and everything that's going to be a pain so we're just going to scrub that in the bath then on the inside here let's take the belly bar off this part can be wiped over although this one is brand new because the girl I think she threw it out or something so she decided that when she sold it, that she'd get a new one, which is really nice. So that's brand new. We're going to unthread this little liner thing that's in here from the harness. Let me show you. It's in bassinet mode, so it doesn't really want to sit up. That's okay. There's no baby in here, so unthread this harness. And on this little liner, there is a little, like a pillow that has a snap at the back. So I'm going to unsnap that. So there's two separate pieces. They can go straight in the wash, but because I'm washing the rest of the pram in the bath, I'll probably just do them in the bath as well. And then there's just basically the whole seat. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to take it outside. When I take it outside, what I'm going to do is push it inside. Oh, the stuff that just came out. <laughs> push it in the opposite way, and then I'm going to like bang it and get all the crumbs and stuff out before I wash it, just to make it like, you know, you like bang all the dirt out, get all that out, so it's not, the water doesn't go as dirty. You know what I mean? So that whole thing is going to go in the bath. So right now I just have all of the stuff in the bath and I added some washing liquid and I added a little bit of fabric softener just because it smells nice and I'm going to add some Dyson 
um, what is it? Laundry, three stuff, circa. I don't know. This stuff. A little bit of that. Well, that was a lot. I think a chunk fell out. And any parts that are really bad, I'm going to add some of this spot. Same thing. But for now, with all of that in there, the three things, I'm going to get a scrubbing brush and I'm just going to scrub it up. scrubbing brush so I've scrubbed all of them down and then out here the basket is all scrubbed as well so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to rinse everything off with cold water you can see the color of the bath water because our prams get so dirty <laughs> you should always clean a pram if you buy it second hand because this is what comes out of them I mean, it's not gross, there's been grosser, <laughs> but yeah. which I'll probably just click onto the frame and take that outside in the sun and I'll probably chuck the hood on as well and do that so it all dries together but it is late now so I am going to bed <laughs> it's the next day and I've put the perm outside under the cover because it looks really rainy today you can see up there that it's just a little grey and then I hung the two little covers and uh, I hope that this roof doesn't leak and wet it more, but I hope to be home soon so that it won't, it will dry in the breeze and it will <laughs> not get wet again from the rain. Okay, so everything is dry and we're gonna put all that together. This pram is one of the, it's not easy to wash, but you don't have to take a lot of part on it. Put like a blanket or something in there as well 
So I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope that it helped you learn how to wash this brim. I know it's not an ideal wash, but there is a way to scrub it down in the bathtub and put it back together without it being all dirty. Thanks for watching. Bye.